Hi. If you have files and you want to have all your storage in, uh, in SharePoint, then obviously there might be still processes that store files in Salesforce, or maybe there might be still users that uh, manually store files in Salesforce or automatic processes like uh, emails to case that uh, the emails have attachments and they are also stored into Salesforce. Now, all of that can be solved via our automatic movement of uh, files from Salesforce into SharePoint. To enable this, you first have to have the collaboration butler uh, configured already on your org, and then you can install our add-on package. So this add-on package is an open source, means that you can uh, change the source or improve it uh, according to your specific needs and requirements afterwards. Or you can just leave it as it is and it will work out of the box. Cool. To configure this uh, uh, package, you need two things. You need to set up a flow because you have some custom logic and this custom logic will obviously uh, drive the entire process of what is the path, what is the folder, what is the SharePoint site or library that I want to send it to. Maybe I want to configure that I want to delete files or leave a content URL and we will go through all of that in this uh, presentation or in this movie. So, in this case, uh, I have an auto-launched flow and the input of my auto-launched flow will be the record ID. So that's the record that the uh, files were uploaded to. You can see that it's available for input, very important. And also the object name. So maybe uh, having the idea is not that easy because then you still don't know if it's coming from an opportunity or from a case or from a custom object. So the object name is also something that we pass on when calling this flow. So here in this flow, you also see that the object name is available for input. Then in the flow, we're gonna uh, make some decisions. So we're gonna say, is this a contract? Very easy. Uh, is the object name equal to contract? If yes, then okay, use this set of settings for uh, defining the path and the uh, uh, URL and the, co uh, and the folder path for um, SharePoint. Um, same thing, we can decide if it's an opportunity. You can see that uh, right here. So we make a decision, uh, is this an opportunity? And when it's an opportunity, uh, let's follow that path because then we're gonna get actually the record from the opportunity. This is an example, obviously. Uh, you can set it up uh, as you please, as you want for yourself. Um, you can set up this example here and say, well, I want the opportunity and I want to filter uh, where the ID equals the record ID. So you can just get the opportunity to which the files were added. Um, we have specified two fields on our opportunity. These are uh, custom fields or formula fields that we have added. How you define your path, you can make uh, it's up to you. We don't say how you should do that, but we just give an example here. And in this example, you can see that on my opportunity, uh, this uh, uh, fields here, SharePoint site and save to path that actually uh, defines the site and the library that I want to go to and also the folder that I want to store in. So let's compare this with the setup in SharePoint. You can see that indeed this is the uh, uh, site and this is the um, uh, library. So you can match those over here. Uh, and then the save to path. Well, this is the path where I want to save to. That is uh, customers, uh, uh, then the name of the account, uh, opportunities, and then the name of the opportunity. So that's uh, this formula field will automatically define that path to the, uh, um, to the folder in SharePoint. So that's just a formula field we have created. Now, going back to our flow, we're going to use that path because now we need to set some output variables. So our flow will be called via the, uh, uh, the package the, uh, uh, to move the files to know where to, uh, to move the files to. So here I'm going to uh, give an output variable site drive URL. You can see the site drive URL here. You can see that it's available for output. So uh, and this site drive URL will actually be the path towards the uh, uh, f the site and the library in SharePoint. So that's going to be this URL over here. 
we have created that with a formula field so you can see that one over here just to show what is possible and that you have full freedom on how you'd want to define that path so if i look at the formula you can see that we do a concatenation with the field from our opportunity with some static text obviously if you want to have a different formulation uh, be our guests uh, we do the same thing for the path so we have the uh, the formula for the path and you can see here that we add youtube customers uh, the path to it because this is the path that i also have over here youtube customers cool so now we have defined our path we can set a couple of extra things do we want to delete the files by default it's going to delete the files but maybe in certain cases you don't want to delete the files so if you set this one delete files that's also an output variable that you can define delete files available for output um, and if you set it to false then it will actually keep the file in salesforce then there is an extra option that says you want to leave a content url so uh, if you want to obviously we're going to save the file in sharepoint that file will have a specific url pointing to it maybe you want that url stored in salesforce so you can still easily go to the file see the preview of the file uh, or edit the file in sharepoint directly and then we will leave a content url in salesforce obviously if you don't want that just uh, trash this one don't uh, don't use it or uh, set it to false so let's do an example first of uh, that it's set to false. I'm going to save this one here, save. And then we will activate this version. Cool. That's one set of the, uh, of the configuration. So we need a flow that decides where do our files going to end up and how do we need to process them, want to delete them or leave some content URL next up is we have to configure the setup to know that um, to know that there is actually uh, uh, for this uh, that this flow exists and that there uh, for these objects or which objects do you actually want to process so we can go to custom settings so when you install the man uh, the package here this one then there will be a custom setting added that you can just uh, manage and in this uh, custom setting you can set a few uh, fields here you can say which is the api name of the flow that uh, that that will make the decision uh, on where the files will be low, uh, will be stored so this flow over here uh, if you want to get the api name just click this icon over here the gear sets and then copy over this name to the custom setting Next up is a checkbox. Maybe you want to enable or disable the uh, auto move of the file. Maybe so for some reasons you say, okay, I don't want to, I want to disable it for a few days or hours or whatever. You can just disable it from here. And then last but not least, you have to give a comma separated list of all the objects that you want to uh, handle via this auto move. So it will not start moving all the files uh, at random. It will actually look at the configuration and say, okay, cool, only for case, opportunity, account, contract, I will start moving files. Because for those items, we have actually added some configuration over here. So if there is no configuration, it will not know where to add the files or where to move the files to so if you want to have a custom object just do a comma and then say my cool object underscore underscore c so that's the api name of the file that you want to uh, of the uh, object that you want to manage cool so now that's the setup we have everything now set up let's do a quick test uh, we go to an opportunity uh, at this moment there are no files linked to our op uh, to our opportunity as you can see in sharepoint uh, there are no files here and let me move uh, two files uh, it's gonna be a uh, movie script and an excel that i have so i'm just gonna move it over here and then when they are moved we will first uh, maybe we will actually it meant that fast that we have that Salesforce was even not even able to show them here in the overview. Now let's take a look here and you immediately see that these were added directly. Cool. 
So now we don't see any files in, in Salesforce, but we immediately see the files in SharePoint. And obviously if I go to the collaboration butler components, you will see the files in collaboration butler. Next up, let's make a change in this setup and let's, uh, let's create a content URL. So I'm gonna set this one to true. Uh, save and then I'm gonna activate this uh, new flow okay so now it's activated let's uh, again take uh, a file another um, let's just uh, go with an Excel file and a PDF uh, that I have here and then let's move them so again they are now being added into salesforce then we will immediately move them over into collaboration butler but now instead of just deleting them we will create a link to these files so you will see the files being added here directly into sharepoint uh, but if i now click on this link you would see the preview of this file directly into uh, um, that of the file that is in SharePoint. So it makes it very easy to still see the files that you have related, but you don't actually have to uh, uh, have the storage in Salesforce. You still have the link to these files directly into SharePoint.